Um, welcome back again. Um, today we're going to be showing you how to um, configure the client side of your LDAP, you know, LDAP client side. Um, the prerequisites are you have to have uh, LDAP server already. Uh, this is how to configure your client so that you can get connected to the LDAP server. Alright, so we're going to install the package right now and it's a group installation. Remember that. It's not the normal yum install. It's yum group install. And it's called the directory client. Client. Use the wildcard asterisk so that it installs everything that comes with it. And then uh, hyphen y to say yes to all of the options. So you don't have to type yes all the time. Alright, so we're installing. We're going to be done in a bit. Done. We're done. So I'll just clear the screen. So what next to do is to do the configuration, which is system config authentication. And then you get this little window popping out. And when it pops out, um, go here, use our account database, choose LDAP. Choose LDAP, um, put in your domain name next. In my case, the d domain name is example.com. So it's just going to be DC. You don't put example.com, you put DC, comma, example. Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be DC equal to example. Comma, DC equal to com. <coughs> that just means um, um, example.com. My LDAP server, get the details from the administrator here. My LDAP server is LDAP that that instructor dot example.com. Please be sure to use the TLS to encrypt your connections so you don't be sending clear texts across the network when it has to do with your passwords at all. Also, you have to click here to download the CA certificate. Find out what path it is. In my case, the path is HTTP, colon, dot, dot, instructor, dot, example, dot, com, slash, pub, slash, I remember that Linux is a case sensitive operating system. You have to give it exactly the way it is. It's not like Windows that can do the resolution no matter what if you put in capitals or in small caps. All right, that's the path to my certificate. Okay, got that. Here, you choose LDAP password. All right, and then you apply. Now, watch. When you apply, watch your main. Um, um, the SSSD service starts. That's the service that you need. Once you see that, you know you're on the right path. Yes, we got the SSSD service started already, so we're on the right path. So um, we just try to log in to see if we we'll get the right error message first. So let's see, SU, uh, LDAP. Uh, I, I got my server 24 here, so I'll just use LDAP user 24. Is it 24? Yes. One in cannot change directory, blah, 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 blah. I got that error message just because I have not made an entry, you know, to mount the home directory of this LDAP user. All right. And how to do that? I have to go in a file, um, do some auto mounting. In a file, two files, one called auto.master, which is in the etc folder, and the second is auto.miss, which is also in the etc folder. <coughs> so we start with the auto.master. Um, bin etc auto.master. All right. Uh, we'll just set here home slash guests 
you need to find out what the home directory is so that you can um, mount to the right um, path. This is the directory in this case, home slash guests. Please be sure not to put a slash after the guests because it's going to seem like a command in here. All right. It's a path, a directory. All right. And then after that, we're going to direct it to go to auto.miss for the rest of the entry. etc slash auto dot misc. We got that. Save and exit. Now, um, what next to do is um, to make the entry in the auto.miss now. So we just do vim slash etc auto dot misc and then we make the entry I think here is fine type FS type just basically means file system type FS type is NFS comma we have a read and write option uh, comma we also want to state the NFS version so this is NFS equal to which is the version 3 version 3 and then we want to put in the path here instructor dot example dot com please don't forget this colon a lot of people forget this colon and it really mess, messes up everything yeah so the colon and then the home no I have a slash before that slash home slash guess slash l dot user uh, let me just increase the size of the window a little bit l dot user 24 okay fine save and exit save and exit in now all right so we need to restart the Auto um, FS service, service auto FS restart. Fine. You might want to keep it on on the particular run levels that you are. Uh, most especially the run level five. Check config. Auto FS on, <coughs> uh, and to see that you just want to add a list option to that just to see the list of the run levels that are on. You see, run level three is on, run level four is on, run level five is on. We're running on run level five right now, which is the one that um, run level that has the GUI, there's networking and everything, you know. So you're sure it's on, and that's what matters. All right. You could do this for all of the services as well. Now the next thing to do is to try to log on as a, as an LDAP user that we have mounted. Do the LDAP user 24. So SU hyphen. The reason why I always use hyphen here is so that I can get the home directory of the user that I'm trying to log in as. And the reason why I'm not being prompted for a password is because I have root privileges. I'm logged on as the root. If you have any more questions, you can leave it, um, leave comments below and I, I, or email me your questions and I, I'll be sure to reply. I'm very happy to reply. LDAP user 24. Bingo. And we're logged in. It's LDAP user 24. All right. Good. One more thing. Okay, you can check the ID to be sure that um, it's LDAP user 24. It has a group ID. This is the groups and everything. Now. I'll just exit and what I want to do now is I want to um, um, 
make a possibility to log on as every um, I want to make a possibility for every LDAP user to be able to log on on here so that um, I don't have to start entering their details one after the other all right so we're gonna make an entry in auto.meet and here we're just going to remove this LDAP user 24 and put a wildcard so that that means that I like we're making it global right now and then at the end I think you just put like a capsule sign I think that should work let's try it out let's restart the service again Exit LDAP user. Oh, sorry. Let's log on as LDAP user five. Bingo. LDAP user five works. Exit. This is try two more. So you see, this really works. Um, Let's log on as LDAP user 15. Bingo. Works. LDAP user 15. Now exit. One more. Let's log on as LDAP user 20. Bingo. Works. Alright. So that's that. That's all about um, configuring um, a client for the LDAP server. Um, I hope you understand all of the steps. It's pretty easy as long as you take your time and you watch closely what you're putting in and you run the right commands. If you have any questions, please be sure to ask me, leave a comment or send me an email. My email is down there. Uh, once again, this is that Cognoscenti out here for GVM. I hope this has been really interesting and easy for you. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.